Good morning, folks. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> I'm going to start this meeting off right, 20 minutes late. That's okay. Um, first and foremost, thank you for coming out tonight um, to the 2018 Town of Fort Kent meeting. My name is Travis Ebel. I'll be the moderator for this evening. Um, we'll get through the results of the voting today. And then after that, I'll, uh, I'll bring up a few housekeeping items that should help to keep the, uh, the meeting moving at a decent pace um, and get you guys home at a reasonable time um, with something that we can all agree on here for those that are here. Um, results from the March 26th municipal election are as follows. There was a total of 347 votes that were cast. Town councillors that were elected to a three year term. With 276 votes, Corey Pelletier. With 205 votes, John Bouchard. And with 150 votes, Dan Marquis. At this time, I'd ask that Corey comes forward so we can swear him in. No. 
acknowledge you. I'm going to ask that you say your name. You may be the first, you may be the second multiple times this evening. I'm going to ask that each time you say your name, that is for recording purposes, and the second as well, please say your name. Um, all discussions this evening will be held to a five minute time limit. At the end of the five minutes, um, if the discussions is going somewhere, we can vote to dis continue the discussions. Um, but if at the end of the five minutes I don't feel like it's going anywhere, I will request a vote and we will vote as amongst ourselves if we should continue or if we will push the item to vote. Um, with that said, we will start with the articles. Can I ask something? Go ahead. If everything passes tonight, what are we looking at a mill rate increase? The question on the floor is as follows. If everything passes this evening at, as it's presented, what are we looking at for a mill, mill rate increase? Page 49. Page 49. Do you know what part of page 49 is on? Mill rate increase, right in the middle. Yeah. Sorry. Mill rate increase on page 49 is midway down on the right hand side. And of course that's hidden. So that's one. One and a half mils. Is that what it is? No, that's not counting the schools. This is just, just, just the town. This is just the town budget this time. That's a big increase, boys. Then do your job. Please. That said, we'll proceed to article number three. <laughs> article number three. To see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate the sum of $406,173 for the administration department. Appropriated in 2017, $404,000. Budget committee recommends $406,173. Rudy. Rudy first. Eric. Eric second. Any discussion on this item? Larry? Now, has this included the town manager too? Or the new town manager that's coming? The question on the floor is does this amount include the new town manager that's coming? Yeah. I'll, I'll have an attempt yeah, here for you. You, you can't. Oh, yeah. Motion yeah. Right. Must yeah. Speak my On my department. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't want to do it. Sorry. Yeah, but the town council should know. Huh? Yeah, hold on. No. Jake? Jake. Jake. 
Jamie. Okay. The, uh, the budget right here for Article 3 includes the town manager now as salary. And so there will be no reduction. So yes, it would include money going forward to some degree to hiring a new town manager because the position is funded here fully. So yes. Any further discussion on Article 3? All those in favor? <clears throat> All those opposed? Article 3 moves as read. Article 4. To see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate the sum of $930,169 for the public. There's a motion on the floor to move as written. There's a first. Paul is the first. Is there a second? Tony Gove is a second. Any discussion on this item? Tony? Does this include the changes not to just issue a new stone file contract? Yes. The question on the floor is, does this reflect the change in the snowplow contract? And it doesn't, it doesn't include the change in the snowplow contract, that's correct. Any further discussion on this item? Larry? So, that's part of just plowing, Tony? That $50,000? That's a fifty thousand dollar increase, Jack. Yeah. Yes, yes, I do. If you look down the proposed uh, increase over what is on page? What page? Page seventeen. It shows where all the increases are, and those aren't the actual increases because I was I was kind of asked to cut. So if you wanted to figure out the exact. You have to subtract the 2017 amount from <coughs> what the budget committee recommends. But there's a big increase in equipment operators. And then we go down, there's a few more increases. The contract, snow removal contract is a big one. Yeah, that all, that's what comes up to uh, 50. Yeah. Now, is that part of a, a few years ago we closed Winter Road, Tony, and now we're opening them back. Is that part of that deal, too? The question on the floor is that a couple years ago we had closed some Winter Roads. Are we reopening those roads? We reopened some roads last year, and the cost to plow those roads is already in there. Now, what did it cost the town of Fort Kent to get these roads ready for uh, How many roads did you open? We opened two roads, an extension on Sherrod Hill, and then an extension on Basil Lake Road. And what did that cost us? Off the top of my head, 75, 80,000 for both. Total for both. And how many homes on these roads? One, uh, one home each, one home each. It's quite an expense. We're gonna limit it to no comments, only questions. Any further discussion on this article? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article moves is read. Article five. To see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate the sum of $670,000 for the police department. Appropriated in 2017, $600,000. There's a motion on the floor to move as written. Second. Mark the first. Marty. Marty Bernstein, second. Any discussion on this item? I got discussion now. I get Gary Lambert. Gary Lambert. Back uh, within the last two months, Chief Pelletier uh, approached the town council to uh, request, uh, I believe, between two and three thousand dollars for repairs of a 
police cruiser that was uh, disabled. And uh, the town council, uh, they rejected uh, Chief Pelletier's request, which is very troubling and very concerning. So my question is, uh, has that issue of repairing the cruiser been addressed, or is it in this budget to be, to be repaired? The question on the floor is there was a request for funds to service a cruiser. Um, originally that that was denied and the question is if there's any funds um, in this budget to take care of that or if it has been uh, identified. And she felt here. Okay, uh, actually Gary, actually Gary, it was, uh, it was a little more money than that. It was for a used cruiser. Um, the cruiser that we had was totally disabled. The repair of it was uh, in excess of what the cruiser was worth. That was about $3,500, that is correct. Uh, the difference between a used cruiser, which was going to be purchased, um, was, I guess, was probably about fifty-five hundred dollars. Um, it was turned down, but I researched and ordered a new cruiser. The problem that I had at the time was that it was um, there's a four-month, four and a half-month waiting period for that new cruiser. So this cruiser, cruiser would have kind of bridged that gap. So uh, right now we're running low, and we will, the expected, anticipated delivery date of the new cruiser is uh, the end of June. So um, it was a little more money than $3,500, but that's what we're running with. Okay. Thank you. Any further discussion on this item? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 5 moves as written. Article 6, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $82,362 for the fire department. Appropriated in 2017, $79,000. Budget committee recommends. Motion to move is read, uh, written. Rudy first. Paula. Paula second. Any discussion on this item? Where's the increase? The question, the question on the floor is where's the increase coming from? We have uh, an increase in a couple of line accounts. A couple of years ago, we gave the firefighters a raise, which they had had a number of years. Uh, that's included. Oh, excuse me, Paige. 21. 21. 21. And then we added an expense category to cover uh, preventive maintenance and testing, which was not there before, and that's a $4,000 increase. We had included that in repair category, which really didn't reflect where the money was being spent. But uh, we are a, what is known in Maine as a shape certified department. That means we're 100% compliant with all the safety regulations and uh, documentation needed to to comply with all our regulations. In order to do that, we have to do certain testing on all our equipment, and that's where that money is. Any further discussion on this item? Yeah. Tony? I see a 25% increase in the cost of the fire department. Is that attributable to any item, or is that just well, a sole increase? The question on the floor is, there's a 25% increase in the heating cost. Is that correct, Tony? When the price of heating oil went down, we drastically cut that account. And then, as we know, the heating oil cost has crept back up a little bit. So we were underfunded in that particular account. So we had to increase it to cover that. Any further discussion on this item? Is there an issue with the maintenance? <coughs> What's the question? The question is why so much we're paying so much more for maintenance than we were previously. The question on the floor is why is there an increase in the maintenance cost? Yeah. Actually, the maintenance account has stayed fairly stable over the past few years. I have a history of it, and it's, uh, well, within $1,000 each year. It goes up and down. We can't predict what we're going to have for breakdowns or for anybody else. Any further discussion? Yes. If the maintenance was the same, where was the maintenance money going beforehand? For regular maintenance, 
That's if, where I'm going with this. If the maintenance was the same prior, where were those funds being allocated? They were spread out over other accounts. We do that at the end of the year. We're, we're allowed to reconcile across the board. We are over an account. Every year we've been over in the maintenance account, so we take that money from other line items to cover that. Any other items? All in favor? All those opposed? Article 6 moves as written. Article 7. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $244,705,000 for the Recreation and Parks Department, appropriated in 2017, $239,500. Budget Committee recommends $244,705. We have a motion. Move to accept. Ruby first. <laughs> Eric second. Any discussion on this item? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 7 moves as read. Article 8, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $31,400 for the public library. Appropriated in 2017, $28,400. Budget committee recommends $31,400. Jake first. All second. Any discussion on this item? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 8 moves as read. Article 9. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $364,900 for the solid waste disposal. Appropriated in 2017, $325,000. Budget committee recommends. $364,900. Jake first. Eric second. Any discussion on this item? Larry? There's a $40,000 increase here. What's the question? Yeah. Well, what did it, how come it went up so much, $40,000? The, the question on the floor is that there's a substantial increase. Is there any? Um, what, what is it caused by? The main cost of that is the fact that the bridge in Manawaska is closed. Our contractor has got to go a lot more miles, and he asked for a rate increase, and the VRF board allowed it. Um, and it's, it's foreseen for the next maybe five or six years until that bridge is uh, completed. Any further Instead discussion? of leaving French building going to Edmondson, going down, they leave French building, come to Fort Kent, go to Edmondson, and then go to, I'm not even going to pronounce the name here. Green River. Green River. Green River. So it's essentially added transportation costs. Yeah. Any additional questions? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 9 moves this red. Article 10. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $4,000 for general. There's a motion on the floor to move as written. Jake first, Eric second. Any discussion on this item? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 10 moves this Written. Article 11, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $820 for the Aroostook County Action Program, appropriated in 2017, $820. The budget committee recommends $820. Eric first, Paul second. Any discussion on this item? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 11 moves as read. Article 12, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum. There's a motion on the floor to move as written. There's a first by Eric. There's a second by Paul. 
Is there any discussion on Article 12? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 12 moves this way. Article 13. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $74,880. There's a motion on the floor to move as written. Cindy's first, Marty's second. Any discussion on this item? All those in favor? All those opposed? Uh, Article 13 moves as written. Article 14, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $10,000 for the Greater Fort Kent Area Chamber of Commerce. Appropriated in 2017, $10,000. Budget committee recommends $10,000. Jake first, Eric second. Any discussion on this item? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 14 moves as read. Article 15, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $33,500. There's a motion on the floor to move as written. Is it seconded? Jake seconded. Any discussion on this item? Larry? Uh, $33,000. Uh, what are you buying, Tony? The question on the floor is what is the funds of $33,000 meant for? The reason I put that in there is it makes a while I've been noticing this. Uh, not quite keeping up with the equipment. So I went to the council and I explained that to them. So I needed to, the average age of our snow trucks is 26 years old. Some of them are 30, 31, 32 years old. Think about that a little bit. That's getting old. So this money will be to help replace a snow truck every once in a while, maybe one every two years, maybe. So in four or five years, and that's not to buy you, but that's to buy you so I'm So that's what that was put in there for. Did you ever look in, in two there years? You go. Oh, Did you ever look to see, you know, talk to contractors, uh, you know, to dump trucks? There's a lot of contractors in town. Would it be cheaper? You ever looked into that? The question then on the floor is have you looked into use the equipment? No, no. Hiring uh, contractors. That, okay. That so the question on the floor is to see if we looked into hiring subcontractors to remove the stuff. No, just the trucks. Just, just the trucks. I, I understand what he's asking. I, that question comes up pretty often, almost every year. And when you do the, like these old trucks that we're using, it didn't cost the town much. And some of them, they were there before I started here. So they're probably 15 to 20 years old hauling snow for the town. And if you figure out the cost per hour, I did all the math and it still comes out cheaper to do it ourselves like that. Versus trying to get somebody, I checked around, checked other towns and they pay, you know, 50, 60, 70, 80 dollars an hour. And the trucks don't cost us that much. No, the reason is because uh, it would throw more money into the economy. My opinion. Question? That's just wow. a okay. Any further discussion? Tell you, uh, what's the difference between uh, Article 15 and Article 4? We can only talk about the article at hand. We've never seen uh, 15 before. So you can, you can pose your question about Article 15. Do you have a question about Article 15? No, that's a different question. You can't bring up another article. Any further discussion on this item? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 15 moves as read. Article 16. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $49,500. There's a motion on the floor to move as written. There's a 
second by Eric. Any discussion on this item? The question is, is that once all the lights are converted, are the cost savings factored into this budget? Yeah. <laughs> Don? Um, the, the conversion is going to be talked about a little later in this warrant, and it's not taking place this year. This just covers regular electricity for these. Okay, all right, thank you. Any further discussion? All those in favor? All those opposed? <laughs> Article 16 moves as read. Article 17, to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate. Move as read. This is the first on the floor to move as written. There's a second by Eric, first by Cindy. Any discussion on Article 17? All those in favor? All those opposed? <clears throat> Article 17 moves as written. Article 18, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of the There's a motion on the floor to move as written by Hey, Jane. finish the question. Finish reading it. If they, there's a motion on the floor to move as, as written, there's a second by Paul. Is there any discussion? Larry? Yeah, I'd like to propose to leave it like it was last year. You're proposing an amendment? Yeah. We read the same thing as 2017. Okay, so there's a, there's a motion on the floor to amend the article to go back to what was appropriated in 2017. Is there a second? There's a second by Tony. Is there any discussion? Jake? Uh, Northern University Regional Airport Authority is a lot of that is federal loans. And we have Carol Terrio here who sits on the uh, who sits on the uh, Board up there, might be able to answer the questions better than me. Uh, but to my understanding, it, it's uh, we're on the hook for it. So there's not much wiggle in there. It's kind of like a bill. Any further discussion? So there's a first, there's a second. All in favor to the amendment? All those opposed to the amendment? The amendment is not approved. So we revert back to the original article. I will repeat the article so that everybody understands exactly what we are voting on. I will read the whole article and then we will push the vote. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $44,927 for the town's share of operational and capital improvement costs at the Northern Aroostook Regional Airport Authority, appropriated in 2017, $38,516. Budget Committee recommends $44,927. All those in favor? We remote, but I move to vote. All those in favor? Okay. I'll open it up to discussion, Tony. Made the 
decisions to approve yes. um, the uh, airport has a board and the town of Fort Kent uh, I represent the town of Fort Kent as a board member um, town of Atawaska and uh, there are I believe five or six different board members and the budget is, is proposed and voted on by the board and that's how they, they come up with the budget and then it's presented to the uh, town council Pardon? Uh, You said that it's a hangar door. Isn't that private home? I mean, if it, you know, if someone has an airplane there, is that his hangar or our hangar? The question on the floor is whose hangar is it? I believe the, the hangar door belongs to the airport and they're renting, they're leasing it from the airport. So they're not making enough money to pay their paper, in other words. Well, it all depends how many planes they get to uh, put in there. Jake? And I think we also need to remember the number of medical flights that the hospital uses too. We have a lot of people uh, that, that utilize services or have in the past in Boston. I don't know where they're going to go uh, now, but uh, we've got to remember that as well. The airport was used for flights, medical flights. Yeah, right. ours. Patient airlift services. Pals and Angel Pets. Yeah. Angel Pets. Angel Pets. Angel Pets. Angel Pets. Sorry. Yeah. Any further discussion on this article? All those in favor? All those opposed? <laughs> article 18, what was this read? Article 19. See if the town will vote to raise an appropriate the sum of $7,500 for updating this explicit. There's, an article, there's a motion on the floor to move as written. Is there a second? Eric, second. All those, uh, any discussion? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 19 moves as written. Article 20. To see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate the sum of $100,000 for the, there's a motion on the floor to move as written. There's a 
second by Paul. Any discussion on Article 20? Larry? That 100,000, what is it used for? I mean, it's uh, hybrids or what? Hybrids. Any further discussion on this article? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 20 moves as written. Article 21, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $1,300 for the St. John Valley Soil and Water Conservation District, appropriated in 2017, $1,300. Budget Committee recommends $1,300. Jay Grubb show first, Eric second. Any discussion on this item? Article? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 21 votes is read. Article 22. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $5,000 for tax abatements. Appropriated in 2017, $5,000. Budget committee recommends $5,000. Lawyer first, second, Paul. Any discussion on this article? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 22 moves as read. Article 23, to see if the town will vote to raise the pro. There's a motion on the floor to move as written. It's a second by Eric. Any discussion on this article 23? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 23 moves as written. Article 24, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $31,701 for the Public Works Facilities Loan Payment. Appropriate, there's a motion on the floor to move as written. Is there a second? No. <laughs> second by Jake. Any discussion on Article 24? Larry? That's a payment for what? What is the intent of this payment is the question. The payment is for the public works garage, the garage to the, all three buildings? No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and it's going to <laughs> The end, the last payment is 2022. Oh, I thought the last year was the last payment. There was something that we were getting done. Firehouse. Firehouse, yeah. Good. Any further discussion on Article 24? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 24 moves this favor. Article 25. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of 100. There's a motion on the floor by City Bully to move as written. There's a second by Jake. Any discussion on Article 25? Larry? What is that money used for, Tony? The question on the floor is what is this? What are these funds allocated for? Okay. Back in 2016, we, we borrowed some money. We helped off 17 point something miles. In between that, we helped off five, a little over five miles. We take care of 33 miles, maybe more. So this will, this loan will cover the rest of the streets. We'll pay no. any street no, that no, didn't no, get no, paid. No, no, that's your loan right now. No, no. That's the loan. That's the one we're saying. Oh, okay. The other one's paid. Yeah. This is for the loan that we took back in 2016, and we covered 17 and a half months. Cut off 17 and a half months. Any further discussion on Article 25? Uh, question on that, Tony. Are you so if this is the annual payment on the amount borrowed, what is the term of that loan? It's a 10 year term. Okay. So, page 47 is your money. And it'll get done in 2026. So, you're trying to match, if you can, the life of a loan with the useful life of the Stretch of road. It should should be close. Okay. Yeah. I just want to understand. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any further discussion on Article 25?
All those, uh, all those in favor? All those opposed? Article 25, moves is read. Article 26. To see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate the sum of 161000 for the Planning and Economic Development Department, appropriated in 2017, 153000 Budget Committee recommends 161000 Nicholas first. Jake second. Any discussion on this item? Larry? There's an $8,000 increase. What is it for? The question on the floor is what is the cause of the $8,000 increase? Did you look at page uh, 33? Basically, what is the cause of the increase? Yeah, that's what I was looking at. 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 Yeah, the council uh, gave that position an increase, and uh, the other increases would be each warrant and uh, salary as well. So those one. Any further discussion? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 26 moves this. Read. Article 27. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $26,383 for the plow truck lease payment, appropriated in 2017, $26,383. Budget recommends $26,383. Come on. First by Jake, second by Paul. Any discussion on this item? Larry? Tony, how many more payments on that one? One. The question on the floor is how many remaining payments? Yeah. This is for our newer plow truck, and we have this year, and next year's payment will be the last one. Next year. Any further discussion on Article 27? Tony? No, at the end of the lease, the equipment is ours. Yeah. So the question on the, on the floor was if we had a buy on clause, and then we heard that, uh, the answer. Any further discussion on Article 27? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 27 moves as written. Article 28, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of 36500 There's a motion on the floor to move this written. There's a second by Eric. Is there any discussion on Article 28? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 28, moves this written. Article 29, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $35,807 for the fire truck lease payment appropriated, there's a motion on the floor to move as written. There's a second by Eric. Any discussion on this item? Larry? Uh, I thought that we were all done that paying that new truck. The question on the floor is that. No, this lease was taken out in 2015 16, actually. And it's a 10 year lease purchase, and we loan it after the 10 year lease purchase. How many more so, years? We have about eight more payments, I believe. Any further discussion, Richard? Can somebody tell me the discrepancy between page 45 and the amount that we're paying for a lease? Can somebody answer me that? The question, the question on the floor is to determine the discrepancy between 40, page 45 and what's being paid for the lease. I see 55000 and all of a sudden there's 35000 Is there some funds coming no. elsewhere? Yes. Actually, the way that works is the lease is 55000 per year, and 20000 comes out of the 
fire department reserve account each year, which is funded by our contractual services to the three towns that we provide fire protection for. So the total payment is 55. Out of the annual budget comes 35, and 20 comes out of the fire department reserve account. Any further discussion? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 29 moves this written. Article 30, the city of the town will vote to raise an appropriate sum of $25,000. There's a motion on the floor to move as written. There's a second. There's a second by Danny. Larry, question? Hey, 25,000, this is the first year we're, what's the reason for that? The question on the floor is what is the reason for the $25,000 uh, allocation, Danny? If you notice, the council recommended zero. The town manager recommended 15. The budget committee made a motion to go with 15. It was seconded, it was debated, and it was killed. The reason it was killed, we were informed that we are in year 11 of supposedly a 10 year period to revalue the town. If any one of you as contractors come in, oh, by the way, we we're told an estimate of about $200,000 to revalue the town. If a contractor comes in in 2020 and gets the bid for $175,000, they expect to get paid upon completion of the work. If there's no money in reserve, that's a $200,000 or $175,000 to $200,000 budget increase in one year just for that bid. That's why I believe the budget committee went with the recommendation of $25,000. Because currently, my understanding is there's no money in that reserve account. Tony? Uh, we would have the money because that a legal requirement for us to reevaluate every 10 years, or is that just a, a trend that we can't stick with? The question on the floor is is it a legal requirement that we have to be reevaluated every 10 years, or is that just a tradition that we have that we reevaluate every 10 years? <laughs> My understanding, it's a state law that says you're supposed to do it every 10 years. They don't push it, but a push comes to shove. You know how the state can be. Do it or else. Um, would you like to add to that? I guess. Um, the the state, state statute calls for a revaluation every 10 years, or if your ratio falls below a certain amount. Our ratio is currently at 92. If it falls below 90, then your homestead uh, exemption gets reduced by 10%, your tree growth gets reduced. So we're on the cusp of falling to a point where uh, the veterans exemptions gets reduced, your homestead, your, you know, all the, all the other exemptions get reduced by that percentage. So you try to stay above 90 so you can get the full exemption, because once you fall below that, you don't no longer get the full exemption. Any further discussion? Uh, I'd like to recommend that for 15000 right? Are you requesting an amendment to the article? Right. To read 15000 instead of 25000 We'll gamble. <laughs> the requested amendment to the item <laughs> would reduce the appropriated amount from 15000 Ah, excuse me, from 25000 down to 15000 I will reread the article with the requested amount. Actually, is there a second for the requested amount? I'll second. Richard seconded. Is there any discussion on the amendment to the article? We got a little excited there, sorry. Uh, Tony? At this point, I'm the amount. You're basically with your premiums on the front of the house. We'll have to reevaluate depending on what that age is. That ratio trips. If the ratio trips, Basically, by if we have rising home prices, then our rising home prices will lower our ratio, and we have a tendency to rise home prices. So that will trip in the near term, not in the far term. So now we're looking at a $175,000 liability. If you get started in the short term, the argument would be to build up a reserve against that amount. So it's all of a sudden, you have one year, and you have a two mil tax increase. So then they have a lot of work on the argument. Any further discussion on the amendment to the article? 
Move to vote. All in favor to the amendment? All opposed? <clears throat> the amendment does not pass. We will revert back to the original article. Is there any discussion on the original? Is there any further discussion on the original article? The original article reads, Article 30, to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate sum of 25000 for the reevaluation reserve account, appropriate in 2017, zero. Budget committee recommends 25000 Any discussion? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 30 moves as read. Article 31. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of 7,689. Is the motion on the floor to move as written? Is there a second? Is there a second? Second. second. Yeah. There's a second. Are you good, Angela? Yeah. Okay. Um, any discussion on Article 31? Tony? The question is why did this item double? The recent years, uh, the reserve account was put in the uh, office of funding and the bank account development and covered half of the funds. And this year, those funds will not be able to pay that, so the full amount. Uh, the request from NNDC is still the same. But it'll have to be fully paid outside of my, my reserve account. Any further discussion on Article 31? All those in favor? All those opposed? <clears throat> Article 31 moves as written. Article 32, to see if the town will vote to transfer an amount not to exceed 1,597,000. Move as written. Any, uh, is there a second on that article? Nope. Rudy? Is there any discussion on Article 32? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 32 moves as written. Article 33. There's a motion on the floor to move to dispense Article 33 with the reading. Is there a second? Jake? Uh, the original motion was by Louis. Second by Jake. Any discussion on Article 33? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 33 moves as written. Article 34. To see if the town will vote to authorize the town council to transfer year end unexpended amounts from each okay. missing. There's a motion on the floor to move as written. Is there a second? Tony? Is there any discussion on Article 34? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 34 moves as written. Article 35. To see if the town will vote to authorize the town council to transfer year end excess revenue amounts from each municipal department's 2018 appropriated amount to each municipal department's capital slash equipment reserve account. There's a motion by Lloyd, second by Jake. Any discussion on Article 35? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 35 moves as written as read. Article 36. So moved. There's a motion on the floor to move as written. There's a second by Cindy and first by Danny. Is there any discussion on Article 36? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 36 moves as written. Article 37, to see if there's a motion on the floor to move as, as written. Is there a second? I didn't get the first, actually. Who was the first? Jake. I was the first, Jake. Jake was the first, second was Cindy. Uh, any discussion on Article 37? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 37 moves as written. 
Article 38, from all. Is a motion by Danny to move as written. Is there a second by Paula? Any discussion on 38? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 38 moves as written. Article 39, to see if the town will vote to authorize the treasurer under the direction of the town council. There's a motion on the floor to move Article 39 as written. Is there a second? Second. There's a second by Dave Nicholas, first was by Cindy. Is there any discussion on Article 39? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 39 moves as written. Article 40, to see if the town will vote to authorize the treasurer under the direction of the town council to sell, lease, or dispose. There's a motion by Lloyd to move as written. Is there a second? Uh, second by Eric. Is there any discussion on Article 40? I do. Larry? Uh, before you take that, that over, do you, does the town work with the property owners? Or? The question again is, is there any negotiations with the property owners for what? Wrong, wrong article. This is personal property. Personal property. This is equipment. That's the equipment that the town owns. Forty, we're on forty, right? Uh, forty thirty-nine is what you're asking. And it moved. Yeah. Yes. We buy too fast. <laughs> Any further discussion on Article 40? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 40 moves as written. Article 41. To see if the town will vote to set October 1st, 2018 as the date upon which taxes are due and paid. There's a, there's a motion on the floor by Cindy to move as written. There's a second by Danny Nicholas. Is there any further discussion on Article 41? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 41 moves as written. Article 42. To see if the town will vote to appropriate charge and interest on unpaid taxes at a rate of 8% per annual for the fiscal year 2018. Is there a motion on the floor? Tony first, Gary second. Any discussion? Tony? Is, is there a difference in rate from last year? Yes. It's up 1%. <clears throat> I thought that the primary amount was two this year. We should track that primary because the cost of money is going up. We don't want to put it in a position where paying your taxes is a less of a concern. Is that a question or an amendment to the article? Or just a statement? <laughs> Steve, do you have to that? Can you? The state places the maximum that we can charge. Is it 80%, 70%, 80%? So basically, the state limits what we can be charged. To answer Tony's question. Any further discussion on Article 42? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 42 moves as written. Article 43, to see if the town will vote to authorize. There's a motion on the floor by Danny. There's a second by Gary. Is there any discussion on Article 43? Russell? Who's the town manager? Question on the floor is who's the town manager? <laughs> No, no, but I just, I'd just like to know how uh, we're going to run the town without a town manager for the next six or eight or twelve months or how long it takes to get one. It's party. Party. The question on the floor is what to do. Who is off? Who is off? Right. Tony? I'd like to make an amendment to this proposal. Remove the town manager position, not being filled. The town treasurer has that authority. 
The amendment to Article 43 would amend to replace the town manager. No, while there is no town manager, it would grant the town treasurer the authority. That's amendment, correct? Is there, is there a second to that amendment? My question is that legal. We need a second before we can discuss it. We got, we got a second. Now we're opening it to discussion. Is it legal? The question on the floor by Paul is, is it legal to do so? Uh, according to the report, your town manager is also your town treasurer. <laughs> oh, God, I'll have to jump in. Most of the positions the council has appointed uh, an acting treasurer, an acting whatever, they have not done any action on the town manager position. Yep. When it comes to grants such as this, the way it would have to work or the way it should work is it would go to the council, the council would authorize the submission of the grant and authorize somebody to sign on the, on the council's behalf in the absence of the Everybody hear that? Understand what he said? Sorry. Nope. Would you like a mic? Is this a good answer? Oh, you got to remember what I said? <laughs> Basically what happens here, in the absence of a town manager, if a grant is submitted, it has to go to the council for approval, and the council authorizes someone to sign on the town's behalf. Um, so that's how it would work in the absence of a town manager. Because you have to have continuity, because you have, you know, grants come out at different times of the year, so there has to be somebody. So the mechanism is, goes to the council, they approve the submission, and authorize somebody to sign on their behalf. Or they sign it themselves. Any further discussion on Article 43? Can I say that the first time? Uh, as amended. Yeah. Let me uh, think through the game. Is there any further discussion on the amended article to allow the treasurer? Um, go ahead, Paul. Well, as the town met the Post Tom manager, expired Tom manager. Expired, jeez! <laughs> <laughs> I'm still alive. <laughs> Retired. Holy moly. Just like stayed home for short. So expired now. <laughs> the, the position, the responsibility has already been taken care of by policy, so electing to change that to a treasurer, I don't think it has any very, it would be pointless. It's already been taken care of. Yeah. So, the amended article is to allow, while we no longer, while we do not have a town manager, to allow the treasurer to sign under the direction of the town council to apply for grant monies and to expend any monies receivable for the city grant purposes. Any further discussion on that amendment to the article? All, Richard. We just. We just acknowledged that the treasurer was also our past yeah. town manager. Oh. Is that they, correct? They no. named an acting treasurer. But who named him? Town council. Okay. Any further discussion? So all those in the, all those in approval, uh, all those in favor of the amendment. All those opposed to the amendment. The amendment has been <coughs> shot down. We revert back to the original way Article 43 was presented, and that is to see if the town will vote to authorize the town manager under the direction of the town council to apply for grant monies and to extend any monies received for the stated grant purposes. Any discussion on 43? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 43 moves as read. Article 44. To see if the there's a motion on the floor by Danny to move as written. Is there a 
a second? There's a second by Eric. Is there any discussion on Article 44? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 44 moves as written. Article 45. To see if the town will vote to set the interest rate to be paid by the town. There's a motion on the floor to move as written. There's a second by the motion was by Cindy, the second was by Jake. Is there any discussion on Article 45? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 45 moves as written. Article 46. So moved. There's a motion on the floor to move as written. By Danny, there's a second by Gary. Is there any discussion on 46? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 46 moves as written. Article 47. To see if the town will vote to authorize the town treasurer. There's a motion on the floor by Cindy to move as written for 47. Is there a second? All second. Is there any discussion on 47? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 47 moves as read. written. Article 48. To see if the town will vote that orders made by the town council pursuant to 23 MRSA 2953. Is there a motion on the floor by Cindy to move Article 48 as written? Is there any discussion on that? Is there a second? Uh, Jay, second. Is there any discussion? Larry? Yeah, this year, uh, instead of the town councilor, that should be voted at the town meeting, open these roads. In other words. There's a suggestion that, was, that instead of being voted on by the town council, this should be voted on at a town meeting. Is there any further discussion on that item? All in favor? All those opposed? Article 48 moves as written. Article 49, to see if the town will vote to authorize the tax collector to accept prepayment to taxes not yet committed. First, Jake. Second, Gary. Any discussion on 49? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 49 moves as read. Article 50. There's a motion on the floor to move Article 50 as written. Is there a second? Cindy, second. Is there any discussion on Article 50? Yeah, one question on that. Gary? The lights are converted to LED. The whole fixture, the whole light assembly has to be replaced as well? Just the light bulb. The question on the floor is the whole fixture that needs to be replaced, or is it just the light bulb within the fixture? So you hide all that hard yet. This is kind of way out. Nobody else was saying it. Basically, it's the fixture that needs to be replaced, not just the light bulb. So it's not a, the ones on Main Street, those were a light bulb retrofit. Didn't quite work as well as had been anticipated, and uh, so this project is for not the, the ones on in downtown, but for all the other street lights. And you have to replace the entire fixture in order to get the light in. Right, thank you. Uh, any further discussions on Article 50? All those in favor? All those opposed? Article 50 moves as uh, written. Article 51, to see if the town will vote to authorize the town council to appropriate funds in the amount, in the amount not to exceed $20,000 from the industrial park capital slash equipment reserve account to the levy, Gabion basket removal and repair project. Uh, there's a motion on the floor to move as written. There's a second by Paul, first <coughs> by Cindy. Is there any discussion on Article 51, Larry? Can that, someone explain that a little bit more? 
Does someone care to explain what that is about? Behind, behind uh, Tracy Hart's building, where the levee is, right. there's a section there that includes what they call Gabian walls. And that's, that's basically his failure. And uh, there needs to be some work done there. Uh, and the Army Corps recommends that we do that. And they're assessing what needs to be done right now. Uh, Tony may be able to do the work, or we might have to contract it out. And uh, this, these funds would, would, would go towards that. Any further discussion on Article 51? All those in favor? All those that are opposed? Article 51 moves as read slash written. Article 52, to see if the vote, there's a motion on the floor by Danny to move as written. There's a second by Cindy. Is there any discussion on Article 52? All those in favor? All those that are opposed? Article 52 moves as written. And that, my friends. Motion on the floor that we adjourn tonight's meeting. There's a second. All those in favor? Or any discussion on that? <laughs> All those in favor? Oh, uh, motion to adjourn? Yeah.